Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd, and Bliss Fucker is the title of the latest Trap Them record. These guys are a New Hampshire band. This is their fourth full-length LP of dark, crusty, punk metal fusions. If you remember back in 2011, a few years ago, I dug on their last full-length album, Darker Handcraft, a record that I admired for its ferocity. But musically, I thought these guys could be a little bit more distinct. There were some riffs and some melodic guitar leads here and there that stood out, but this record was not really a, a powerhouse when it came to musical composition. And not only musically, but sonically, I actually think that Trap Them is starting to lose their flavor as well. In the ever-growing pool of heavy and nihilistic hardcore acts out there, a lot of which have been produced by Kurt Ballou of Converge. Bands like This Routine Is Hell, or Baptists, or The Secret, Black Breath, Nails, Dead in the Dirt, the recently defunct Gaza, Young and in the Way. And even though this LP I think is just a smidge more aggressive than Trap Den's last record, I'm getting pretty much the same sort of unmemorable vibe here. There's a riff, there's a melodic guitar lead here and there that may make a particular track stand out, like the songs Organic Infernal and Gift and Gift Unsteady, two of the better tracks on this LP, or the song Former Lining Wide the Walls, not one of the more melodic tracks on this LP, but it's definitely one of the more ferocious. Trap Them really puts aggression on top on this particular track, but it's just not enough to keep the songs on this LP interesting, or keep this entire LP interesting, which is Trap them's longest record yet at 47 minutes, which to me is really just too long to be doing one thing and, and one thing only, at least one thing well. Even though Trap Them is mad as hell, boy, do their vocals sound buried on a lot of these tracks and, and sound pretty run of the mill, as well as the guitar tone here too, which is super bodiless and flavorless, just so distorted that it has no organic qualities whatsoever. The guitars all over this LP are just blocky with no dynamics. Stylistically, Trap Them does make efforts to break this record up with songs like the which is a bit of an interlude track with guitars and vocals, which comes through the really hard-hitting finish. And there's slower and more dismal tracks on here, like Savage Climbers, one of the longest tracks on this LP. But Trap Them is really stiff performance, doesn't really bring the, the finesse that I think is necessary to do a song this slow and this depressing. However, I wouldn't really say on this LP overall that the performance is terrible. It's definitely passable. It's definitely there, and the, the production isn't terrible either. I mean, it definitely gives Trap Them a loud and clear sound, but a sound that's enthralling, that's live and in the moment, and has its own natural momentum, this record does not have. To me, Bliss Fucker sounds like something that would sound much greater with Trap Them playing it live and in person. Because as a recording, when it comes to this darker, moodier, more nihilistic, hardcore metal fusion, this record is about as predetermined as a color by numbers activity page. I'm feeling a light decent five on this LP, Tran. Zishin, if you've given this record a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Trap them, bliss fucker, forever.